ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for K-Check! K-check. Everyone, I am Junelle Labor. Popo si Amy Su Martinez, and this is K Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. Marami ang hindi nakasawang tagdagan ang kanilang mga kaalaman here on K Check. Titingnan natin kung gaano katindi ang brain power nila in various disciplines. And in the final week of the competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unang tatanghaling K Check champion. Nandito na tayo sa ating weekly finals. Kilalain natin ngayon ang ating apat na daily winners. One of them will move on to a spot in our semifinals kung pumasa siya sa ating K-Check sa araw na ito. Quinea is a University of the Philippines Diliman student who is passionate about design-related tasks. Brian finds it therapeutic to walk around and take photographs. Charlene is in love with cinema and is a BA film major at UP Diliman. Dias is a performance major in theater. He came from the province of Laguna where he originally majored in engineering. Now he's following his dream of becoming a theater actor. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And Professor Maylin Cruz, Assistant Professor from the Department of Theory, College of Fine Arts, University of the Philippines, Diliman. And now, contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Pinea, in geography, what is the southernmost continent? Correct answer is Antarctica. Brian, what is the average of 17 and 37? Answer is 27. Charlene, what does the D in COVID stand for? Disease. K check. Dias, tofu is made from what type of bean? Soy. I will accept that. K check. Quinea, what is the product of one half and one fourth? Answer is one-eighth. Brian, Russia and Ukraine were part of what country that broke up in 1991? Soviet Union. K-check. Charlene, to what galaxy does our solar system belong? Milky Way. K-check. Dias, 126 is three times what number? 42. K-check. Pinea, what does the D in AIDS stand for? Disease. Male efficiency. Brian, found on TVs and video, what does HD stand for? High definition. K check. Charlene, what number is two thirds of 30? Correct answer is 20. And Dias, who had been the Queen of the United Kingdom for 69 years until 2020? Queen Elizabeth II. K check. And that's it for our first round, the K check paramihan round. And that's it for our first round, the K check paramihan round. Ang galing ng first round na yun, no? Oo, nakakatuwa, pero kailangan may humabol. Mm -mm, di ba? Ako din naman, kung ako yon ay gusto ko manalo talaga, no? Ngayong linggong ito, di ko to palalagpas eh. So, hahabol ako. Oh, kasi pang semifinals lang next. Mm -hmm. Prof Neil, may mga katanungan ka ba sa ating contestants? Tanong ko para kay Charlene. Yeah. Si Charlene ay film major, di ba? Baka ang tanong ko sa kanya, anong tingin mo sa estado ng sining Pilipino? Naghihingalo, natutulog, o lumalaban? Naku! Controversial. I would say lumalaban naman po. Pero the problem is, wala naman po tayong shortage sa talent, kundi investment. <laughs> May, okay, batay sa mga tinuro sa sa'yo ng, mga, ng taga Film Institute, paano lumalaban ang mga membro ng industriya? I would say they still do what they do naman. Doing what, what kind of film? So, ano mga tinuturo sa inyo ni na Rob Brown at yung mga eksperto dyan sa UP Film Institute na yan? Uh -oh. 
Ang dami din niya siguro maalala. Sa sobrang dami yan yung tinuturo doon. Hindi lang si Rob Brown, Roland Tolentino, Nick Di Ocampo, at marami pa. Correct. Diba? No? I think she's just focusing on the competition. Oo, ako din naman. No? Parang gusto kong win-win-win. No? Okay. Ako naman gusto kong tanongin sa si Cornelia. She said that she loves um, design-related tasks. So I wanted to ask her, anong klase ng design-related task yan? Um, ako po talaga, when it comes to designing, I love designing media-related stuff. Like posters, I also edit videos. And uh, with designing, I also love sketching uh, theater stages and theater costumes. Kaya kapag design, kay Quinea na yan. Wow! Okay. <laughs> Paan pa siya? Gusto ng ganong klase. <laughs> Saan ka ba makikita, Quinea? Just in case ma-interesado nga, no? I Thank you po sa ano, pagpapalala. Pwede niyo po ako manap sa Facebook, Instagram, Quinea lang po. Quinea, okay. At ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our pabilisan round next here on K-Check! ng ating karunungan check. Now, let's look at the scores of our contestants. In the lead is Dias with 30 points. Second place is a tie between Brian and Charlene at 20 points. Si Quinea ay kailangang humabol. Yes. Hahabol yan si Quinea. Oh, queen siya eh, di ba? Okay. <laughs> Totoo. Tanda mo pa yung scores nila last time, no? Oh, oh, I think alam ko sino yung pinakamataas. Feeling ko si Brian tama ba? Yung pinakamataas. So ang laki ng pressure sa akin. Parang tanda ko 135 points si Brian. Taas. Mm -hmm. Siya pa rin kaya ang nanalo ngayong segment. Hindi natin na alam kasi pwedeng humabol si Charlene na may 110 points ng kanyang round at saka si Dias na may 120 points, no? At si Quinea. Ang galing ng memory mo. Naalala mo pa lahat. Ganun Believe. talaga, no? Photographic memory. We are now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points, pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin! <music> Question. According to live science, the rarest color in nature is ironically Dias? Blue. Okay, check. Next question. What is the name or genus of the extinct flying reptile that has a wingspan that can reach 36 feet, which makes it the largest known flying animal ever? Dias? Pterodactyl. Okay, check. Which song by a Blackpink member won the best K pop video award? Brian? Quinea. Lisa Manovan. The correct answer is La Lisa. Which United States president starred in the films Law and Order and Bedtime for Bonzo? Ronald Charlie? Reagan. Okay, check. Which chess champion was born in Baku, Azerbaijan in 1963 with a surname Weinstein? Answer is Gary Kasparov. What is the title of the love song recorded by Louis Capaldi in 2018 that was named Song of the Year at the 2020 Brit Awards and went on to garner more than 2.3 billion streams on Quinea? Love Someone. That was actually close, but the correct answer is Someone You Loved. What is the official language of Brazil? Charlene. Brazilian Portuguese. Okay, check. Next question. South Africa is a country with three capitals. What is its judicial capital? Who's name? Brian. Cape Town. Let me continue. What is its judicial capital whose name means Fountain of Flowers? Correct answer is Bloemfontein. Zero degrees Celsius is how many degrees Fahrenheit? Dias. 32. Okay, check. 
when Star Wars emerged as the number one movie at the box office in 1977, what Steven Spielberg film starring Richard Dreyfuss was the second highest earning to... Diyos, mali. Let me finish that. What Steven Spielberg film starring Richard Dreyfuss was the second highest earning film that year. Ang tamang sagot ay Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Which Filipino-American singer and social media personality created the most liked video on TikTok? Dias! Bella Puch. Gay check! And the last question. Here it is. In mathematics, what curve is traced by a point moving in a plane so that the sum of its distances from two other points called foci is constant? Dias? Circle. The correct answer is ellipse, and that's it for our Pabilisan round. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan round. Mag-points recap muna tayo. Nauna si Dias with 100 points. Charlene gets 50 points. Brian at si Quinea ay hahabol, no? Ang galing din ng mga katanungan sa round na yun, no? Oh, at si Dias na maintain niya from round 1 to round 2. Mm -hmm, no? Consistent. So, Very so challenge natin yung last natin mga contestants to, again, Hahabol ang ating ibang mga contestants, no? Okay, yes. Prof. Maria, may mga questions ka ba sa ating mga contestants? Um, maybe kay Dias? Kasi nakabilib siya na engineering and then nag-theater, di ba? So, Dias, nakailang years ko sa engineering mo? Three years po. Wow! So, parang bigla kang nag-shift to... To theater, theater. po. No? <laughs> hindi ka naman na-kick out sa engineering, no? Hindi po, hindi po. Matataas po grades Kasi ko pero kita-kita na... <laughs> Yung mga math kasi na questions na answer niya na mabilis. Pero anong klase ng actor gusto mong maging? Uh, I want to be a flexible actor po. So, any role, uh, sana po kaya kong gampanan. Ganun. <laughs> so, good luck. Or kung hindi, mag-join ka mo ng mga quiz shows para meron kong exposure. Correct. Uh, uh, katulad uh, ng yeah. question ito. Pero ang galing, no? Para nababalance siya talaga yung hmm. right and left side ng brain niya. Diba? Ganun Oo daw nga. Yun. Tamang hmm. assessment niya. Okay. Prof. Maylin, may comment ka ba doon kay Dias or baka gusto mo siyang i-advise anong pwede niyong gawin sa arts field? Uh, okay lang yan na um, mula sa engineering papunta sa arts kasi marami din sa arts talagang um, nagmula din sa iba't ibang fields. No? Um, kapag nag nagpunta ka sa fine arts, you meet all kinds of people with all kinds of backgrounds too. Tama naman. Okay, may katanungan ka ba sa ating mga contestants? Uh, para kay Brian, no? sabi mo kanina na you're into photography. No? Um, do you share your photographs in social media? Hmm. Um, just recently. Actually, um, I was very hesitant to share my creative, the crea my creative side because um, I'm more used to writing and also um, being in front of, of the camera. But... Um, Recently, I decided to share my um, craft because I think that the stories and the people and places I have met um, during my uh, photo walks and all my um, story assignments, um, their stories um, carry a lot of significance and that people that, that merits sharing or that needs to be shared to to other people. Na excited naman ako ano kaya ang mga pinopost ni Brian. No? Yeah, natanong ko yun kasi um, gusto kong malaman kung paano niya sineselect no. So with the photographs that he takes, ano yung ano yung basehan niya para yun yung from the maybe hundreds of photographs that one takes, um, yun yung ipopost mo at i-share mo sa public. Okay, ano daw yung ano? Yeah, personally um Light is very important to me. As long as um, if the photo has um, is well lighted and and um, maganda yung light composition niya, it's more likely na masasama siya dun sa um, frames na uh, I'll be posting online. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Maylin, and thank you, Brian. No? 
So this time, our contestants will face their toughest, toughest challenge. Yet, dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round ay susunod na here on Kane Check! Check. Welcome back! Now let's look at the scores of our contestants. In the lead is Dias with 100 points, followed by Charlene with 50 points. And then we have Kinea and Brian na kailangang humabo. Tama, no? meron pa silang chance. No? Meron pang mga points na pwedeng mahuli sa next round na ito. So we'll find out in our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points and wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito, sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Weekly Winner. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin! Let's start the round. Prof. Marian, question please. Simple math question. What is the next term in the sequence? One, one, two, three, five, eight. Gaya. Thirteen. Okay, so this is the uh, these are the first terms of the Fibonacci sequence, where you get the next term by adding the previous two terms. So the correct answer is five plus eight or thirteen. Okay, check. Thank you so much, Prof. Neil. Next question. What was the empire that controlled Southeast Europe, West Asia, and North Africa between the 14th and early 20th centuries? Charlene, Ottoman Empire. Bumagsak ang imperyo ng ito nang natalo sila sa unang digmaang pandaydig. Ang tamang sagot ay Ottoman. Very interesting, Prof. Maylin. Next question. What do you call an artisan who makes santos and rebultos? Gaias. Sculptor. Wrong answer. Ang tamang sagot ay santero. No? Ang mga santero ay um, they emerged as a result of Spanish colonization and the Christianity that they brought here in the Philippines. Santero pa lang term nun. Prof. Maria, next question please. What do you call a type of reaction that releases energy into its surroundings? An example is, of this reaction is produced when you burn, for example, sugar or candle, or you mix a strong acid with water. This is called an exothermic reaction. Gagamitin ko yung term na yan. Araw -araw, exotherm. Uh, Prof. Neil. What is the first K-pop song to hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100? Brian. Gangnam Style. Mali. Ang tato mula sa BTS, ang tamang sagot ay Dynamite. Correct. Narinig natin lagi-lagi ang Dynamite. Prof. Maylin? This is the solid gold image of a Hindu goddess that attests to the pre-colonial civilization in the country found in Agusan and currently in the possession of a foreign museum. Correct answer is the Golden Tara of Agusan. It's a solid gold, small sculpture, one of the many evidences of our civilization prior to the Spanish colonization. Thank you. Prof. Mario, next question, please. Not ule. Simply lang ule. What is the value of the circumference of a circle divided by its diameter? Dias. Hi. Okay, the circumference of a circle is 2 pi times its radius, 2 times 
the radius is the diameter. So, C over diameter is equal to pi. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question, please. Who founded the Moro National Liberation Front? Charlene. Nur Misuari. Nagsilbing gobernador ng autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao matapos nakipag-peace talks sa administra administrasyon ni Fidel Valdez Ramos. Ang tamang sagot ay Nur Misuari. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Maylin. This is the royal home of the Maranao leaders, distinguished by its colorful and decorative flanges called panolong. The correct answer is Torogan. It's a beautiful piece of vernacular local architecture that serves as a royal home but also has a social function. Prof. Maria, next question please. Last question for me. What do you call a material that will not carry an electric charge? Brian. Insulator. Okay, ito yung kailangan para hindi makuryente. Insulator is the correct answer. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question please. Sinong huling pangulo ng Commonwealth at unang pangulo ng ikatlong republika? Brian. Manuel L. Quezon. Siyang humarap sa problema ng reconstruction pagkatapos ng gera laban sa hapon. Ang tamang sagot ay Manuel Rojas. Thank you. Prof. May Lin. This is our last question. Who is the national artist known for his abstract expressionist works? Charlene. Toy me emo. Ang tamang sagot ay si Jose Hoya. Siya ay nagsilbing dean ng College of Fine Arts at siya rin ang kauna-unahan na magna cum laude mula sa Fine Arts. Salamat, Prof. Maylin. And that is it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. That's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to our weekly winner, Dias, with a final score of 145 points. We'll see Dias again in the semi-finals. Thanks to Quinea, Brian, and Charlene for joining and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Ming. This is Aimee Su Martinez. And I am Junella Bor. Join us again on Monday for another K-Check! K -Check.